Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, just with a quick pickups video. Uh, some of the stuff that I've gathered over time. I won't be able to show everything because some of the stuff that I got is for my son's birthday. Uh, so that won't be coming up for a while. Uh, some of the things that I did find that I kind of want to show, I love strategy guides, specifically the old ones that I used to have as a kid. Uh, so I picked this up. This is the uh, Ultimate Unauthorized Nintendo Game Strategies 2. And these are really cool. You can find these if you want to take a look and see what passed as uh, tips and strategies when we didn't have the internet or when the internet was just forming. You can look through these. Uh, I got this for uh, one penny plus $3.99 shipping from Amazon. So these are super cheap. You can find these. You can also find these at a lot of uh, thrift stores. Occasionally they'll have them just kind of sitting in there. Normally they're in the kids books too. So you can get them even cheaper. And if you've stayed with me for a while you know that I love uh, Tabula Rasa. It was an MMO that was so short-lived and really didn't even get a chance out of the gate. But I just love the full color manual. I got this for the same price. I mean, it was next to nothing on there. One day I really need to set up a private server and play through that game again. And then I got this bad boy, which is the black and white strategy guide, collector's edition, official, the official Pokemon Unova. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Strategy guide, but it's really, really nice. And it's also got bookmarks in it. One black and one white, so you can, if you're playing both games at the same time, crazy. Boy, that does it. Um, And then I happened, while I was roaming around looking for other stuff for my son, uh, happened at a GameStop where a lot of the, the DS games they were getting rid of. So most of these I got for a uh, dollar or two, and I'll put pictures up there These because you're not going to be able to see them. Um, Dungeon Raiders, which I know nothing about. Uh, Pack Picks, which is the one where you draw Pac-Man and then it goes across the screen. Um, Lost, and I printed out two cases for them. Uh, Lost in Blue and then Lost in Blue 3. I couldn't find Lost in Blue 2, so if I play Lost in Blue and I like it enough I'll get Lost in Blue 2 and then play Lost in Blue 3. Uh, Drawn to Life, which was actually, I remember being a fun game. I think I played the demo of it or watched somebody else play it. I don't remember. And then finally got a copy of Meteos, which I've never played this before. Hi Amber. I had to get her two cents in. She's mad at me because she finally decided to, she's a kitten, well, she's a year old now. She finally decided to take the time to cuddle with me this morning. And she laid down on my side. And then about that time I had to roll over. And I rolled over and she got super angry. And then ran out and I closed the door. So now she's upset. Yes, yes, I hear you. You wanna say hi to the fine folks? No? She just saw a cable move. Um, I love this on the Vita. Got rid of my Vita, so I was happy that this came out for PlayStation 4. This is Gravity Rush. I uh, played a little bit of it. I'll probably play more and stream the rest. Uh, I didn't never finish this game on the Vita, so I look forward to getting the time to actually sit down and play it, because I drive all the time now, which means that I don't have time to sit and actually like play. Every place I go, I drive. And then a whole host of uh, PlayStation 3 games that I had been wanting to play and wanting to play. Uh, this one, a favorite of uh, Jeff Gersman on Giant Bomb, if you watch him at all. This is Syndicate. And I'd been meaning to pick this up and meaning to pick this up and meaning to pick this up and finally did. So, got that. Look forward to playing that. Um, I have never played Mirror's Edge. I played a 
demo of it a million years ago and then never played it so picked up Mirror's Edge so that I can give that a shot uh, after I finally crawl out of the rabbit hole that is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen which I don't think will ever happen. Um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, wanted to play it, never got around to it, finally picked it up. And last but not least, uh, just because I don't think I have a physical copy of any of them, I picked up Yakuza and I picked up uh, Dead Souls because I don't have access to this one digitally. Digitally. I do uh, Yakuza 4 and I played that for a little while and I've been told this is like Yakuza is bonkers to begin with, but this is like bonkers on top of bonkers. So there is that. Um, Aside from that, uh, I've been a, a really slow time for me. Still playing Dragon's Dogma, trying to get to max level. Finally killed uh, Damon for the first time, so I've got to go back and kill him for the second time. And then I think there's one other thing I need to kill, and then I'll have killed everything in the game at least once. far as I know. I need to look because there's a whole list. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and play on!